While things are cooling off outside, as you just saw, it might be nice to warm up inside with a space heater. But heaters can be dangerous if they're not handled correctly. MTN's Chris DeRose has a few tips that will help you not only stay warm, but safe. Space heaters can be a real lifesaver in the wintertime, especially here in Montana. But they can also turn deadly if not handled correctly. Billings Deputy Fire Marshal Tyrone Morgan says the first line of defense is simply to read the directions that come with your device. If you don't follow uh, the recommended instructions on the box um, and you end up, for example, putting a blanket or clothing or papers over the top of your heaters, it's possible to start a fire. It's important to know what type of heater you have and what safety features it has. Some will turn off if they get overheated and some will sound alarms if they tip over. The best way to be safe is to do a little research about what heater you want to buy and even talk to your local hardware store for recommendations and advice. But there are of course a few safety tips that will help no matter what heater you have. If you're going to use uh, you know, the temporary portable electric heater, uh, plug it directly into the permanent wall outlet. Uh, do not use a, a surge protector or an extension cord. It's made to go right into the wall. Another item, we want you to keep the three feet of distance from the portable heater and anything that can burn, whether that's a piece of furniture, a uh, stack of papers, magazines, curtains. And in that three feet, we want to keep that as a kid-free zone. Now would also be a good time to start checking those batteries in your smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. But what happens if there is a fire in your place and what if you can't hear the alarm? You can contact our office or the Red Cross. The Red Cross has a program that has these devices. Once they, once they are alerted to a smoke in the residence, they have a device that will shake, uh, shake your bed, shake your mattress to help alert you if you're sleeping. There's also other types of smoke alarms that will emit a strobe, uh, similar to inside of a commercial building. If you ever see the, the flashing lights in a building when that fire alarm goes off, uh, you can have the same thing in your home. All in all, a few simple steps can not only help you stay warm this winter, but they can help you stay safe. Reporting in Billings, Chris DeRose, MTN News.